Mr. Rizzo. Noriega, the, di the dictator who was convicted in the United States, France, and Panama, is sitting in a Panamanian jail, is suing Activision for a... Uh, That's for the video company. The co video company for a, a, a video game called uh, Call of Duty, which 40 million people have and use, and he wants millions and millions of dollars. The company that he's suing is a good company. They employ 7,500 people. They have found homes for 5,000 veterans, and, and uh, they help veterans constantly. They put a lot of money back into the community. He wants millions of dollars because he's mentioned as a bit player in this. He's one of 45 characters. President Bush is in it. Uh, Oliver North is in it. Uh, General Petraeus is in it. They're not suing. He wants millions of dollars out of this company. Now, it has a certain danger to it as a free speech issue. If he were to succeed, then any, any of these people who are mentioned in historical novels or this new genre of historical fiction, you know, you think of uh, Ben Laden's family could sue for, uh, for the movie Zero Dark Thirty. If he's not depicted the way they want him to be depicted. Exactly right. So there's a free speech issue here. And you won't, you won't remember this, but I began my career as a First Amendment lawyer representing the Wall Street Journal, the Barons, and the Daily News. I when I was at uh, Patterson Belknap, and I, I argued some famous First Amendment this cases. This before he became a U.S. attorney. This is before I became a U.S. attorney.